When it comes to a magical performance, nothing can be left to chance, as the illusions must be arranged with painstaking care and thought. And that's where a great magician's ability comes to the fore. So be it Mickey Dark's terrifying knife-throwing act, or the amazing magician on Penn & Teller show turning water into wine. Hello and welcome back, and today, we're gonna figure out the secrets behind some of the world's most famous magic tricks. So, let's get started. The first trick, the terrifying knife trick. Sometimes magic tricks can be terrifying, and Mickey Dark is one such name that comes to our mind when we think of horror magic acts. He once performed an amazing knife trick on America's Got Talent which left everyone stunned. Here's what he did. His act consisted of performing a magic act using Heidi Klum and Terry Crews as his assistants. He first tears a corner part of Simon's picture and stuffs it into a small envelope. He then makes a mark on the back with a black kiss and puts it into a basket of similar envelopes. He tells Terry to hold the basket over Heidi's head as she is seen holding the rest of the torn photo. Mickey then puts a blackboard target on Heidi's neck. Now as soon as Terry dumps the contents of the basket over Heidi, Mickey throws a knife heading straight towards Heidi. Magically, the knife hits the exact same envelope which had the torn piece of Simon's photo, thus leaving everyone stunned. So, how did he do it? Well, here's the secret. First of all, you should never try such dangerous acts at home or anywhere else. Now coming to the secret, Mickey never threw the knife. Yes, the knife you saw at the target was already pre-installed inside that board with an identical envelope containing Simon's torn piece of photo. Well, for this part, Mickey used another envelope containing a duplicate torn piece of photo which was pre-installed inside the board before the act had started. Also, both the identical torn pieces of Simon's photo, the one which he puts inside the basket and the other piece which was revealed at the target, both of them were pre-sectioned to make them look exactly identical. And this is how he pre-cut the torn pieces. He stacked both the identical photos together and cut them simultaneously. Now the photo stacked at the top is cut all the way through, and this torn part of the photo, along with an identical kiss-marked envelope, is the one which he pre-installs it with the knife inside the board. The photo at the bottom is only cut midway, and during the performance, if you observe carefully, after he takes out Simon's photo from the envelope, he doesn't show the photo from the position where he cuts it. He only shows the remaining part of the photo, which proves that it was a pre-cut photo. Also in this frame, you can see that the photo already has a crease mark, thus confirming the pre-cut. Now all he did was to follow the cut and tear the corner part on a predefined line so that the corner piece also fits the identical torn piece inside the target board. But still, what about the marked envelope thrown in the air? Wouldn't someone notice it when thrown on the floor? Well, the fact that it was very dark on stage and there were too many small envelopes in the basket, and also the fact that he may have glued that marked part of the envelope to some other envelope inside. So this made it impossible for anyone to identify it while the envelopes were thrown in the air. Now coming to the inbuilt mechanism, as you now know, the knife was never thrown, and the magician only pretended to throw a knife. So where did the knife in his hand disappear? When Terry threw the envelopes in the air, Mickey pretended to throw the knife, but in reality, as his hand snapped forward, he let go of the knife somewhere inside his jacket while the camera cut away. Also, since his hand was always quicker than our eye, we couldn't see the knife. Now, when the knife retracted back into his jacket, his assistant present at the backstage triggers the remote control signal to a hidden mechanism inside the target board placed around Heidi's neck. So at that moment, as the camera cuts away, the target board pops up a hidden spring mechanism from underneath. This picture shows how the pre-cut photo and the knife were placed on a spring-loaded base inside the secret compartment. Now when Mickey pretends to throw the knife, the base is raised to its vertical position which creates the illusion of a knife hitting the target. Also the mechanism was covered under the furry cover arranged in the shape of a door which made way for the platform to pop up. If we slow it down, you can see a hint of the envelope along with the knife popping out in the board from the top with the help of a spring. So, all the credit goes to the amazing magician who made this horror act look quite convincing. The second trick, turning water into wine. 
Going by the name, it might sound like an old classical trick, but Wolfgang Moser, the talented magician on Penn & Teller's famous show, gave his trick a very smart and refreshing twist. He brings along a teapot and asks a volunteer to confirm that it's empty and there's no gimmick inside. After allowing a lady to taste the water from the bottle he brought along, he pours it all inside that teapot. Ensuring the glasses don't involve any gimmick, the age-old magic happens. He turns the water into red wine. However, that wasn't all he did. He then turns the water into white wine and then into a chilling glass of beer. But wait, there's more magic left in that teapot. From a set of three books, he asks a volunteer to choose one and then pick a drink of his choice. The man picks an orange juice mocktail, which he then magically turns the water into. Finally, he turns the remaining water left in the pot into hot coffee, pours it all, and then brings out a lot of sugar from that empty pot. So, how did he do it? Does the teapot involve a gimmick? Well, before revealing what's inside, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of our new video uploads. Now, let's quickly get to the secret. Some of you'd think that there's got to be something inside that teapot, maybe some sort of inbuilt compartment which hides all the different liquids. But at the start, Wolfgang showed us all that there was no gimmick inside the pot, so this rules out that scenario. Then, where do all the liquids come from? Well, there are not one, but two teapots involved in this trick. The first pot is a normal one, and there's one more pot which we'll look into later on. Now, the bottle plays a key role for the first teapot. There's a valve on the water bottle hidden by the DS label. So, when he pours the water, the top compartment has water. He carefully pours it, concealing and releasing the valve. So, she indeed tastes water. The rest of the liquid inside the bottle is actually a white wine base, and he uses this liquid at three different times. The first instance was when he turns water into red wine. Now, as you know, the liquid he pours into the pot is not water, but a wine base. Also, if you notice, the glass has some red-colored powder at its bottom, and that's how the liquid turns into red wine when he pours the base liquid into it. The next instance, when he turns water into white wine, he just had to pour the white wine base into the glass. That's it, we have the white wine. The third instance, when he turns water into beer, the glass has more coloring and a foaming agent to make it look like beer. Obviously, it is not beer and no one ever tastes it. Finally, the first pot is empty, and at this moment, he clearly switches it with another pot while he picks up the plate. Now this pot is the one that has built-in compartments inside it for the final part of the trick. The second pot has three chambers and a magical lid. The pour chamber at the bottom has the mocktail, followed by a small heater, followed by the coffee chamber at the top. The orange juice mocktail is a forced selection. The book has different drinks, but each book contains the orange mocktail page, which he somehow manipulates to always stop on that page. So now, he only had to pour the mocktail. Then he switches the valve to coffee and turns on the heater. If you notice, when he performs the final coffee pour, it is not through the spout, but through the top, as the top chamber had coffee and isn't connected to a spout. Finally, to bring out the sugar, he first removes the top part of the pot which concealed the sugar. The lid has a shell where the sugar is stored, so he puts the lid back on, and when he takes it off again, he leaves the shell with the sugar, which creates this amazing illusion. So finally, moving on to the last trick on our list, the Amazing Prediction Act. This magic trick comes from the eastern part of the world, the famous Philippines Got Talent show. In one of the performances, the magician named Odi Sto Domingo performed a prediction trick in which he tells the four judges to each name a random word. The four words they chose were Japan, Sakura, Time, and Urduja. His assistant then places a small box on a table stand. Now Domingo takes out a piece of paper from a bottle which was sealed inside the box. To everyone's surprise, the paper inside the box revealed the exact four words written on it thus correctly predicting the words chosen by the judges. So, how did the magician know those four words? Well, here's the secret. The piece of paper that was taken out from the box already had the four words written on it. Yes, the words were written on the paper after they were chosen by the judges. 
In the backstage, Domingo's assistant wrote down each one of the judges' chosen words onto that piece of paper. And it was this paper which Domingo revealed later, but who's the assistant, you'd think? Yes, he was the same person who brought the box stand onto the stage. At the top of the box stand, there was a cloth fabric, and it had a cutout from where he slides the paper underneath. So, before bringing the table on stage, the assistant placed his pre-written paper folded and hidden under the cloth fabric. Now, Domingo could easily lift up or roll up the fabric to take out the folded paper. But still, how did Domingo manage to reach the paper as there was a sealed box placed over it? Well, the box had a secret door at its bottom. So during this moment, when he goes near the box, he pulls up the hidden door, rolls up the fabric, takes out the paper, and quickly puts it inside the bottle. If you notice, after he places his hands inside the box, he had almost 5-6 to six seconds to take out the paper from the stand and insert it into the bottle through the opening at its bottom. Finally, he takes out the piece of paper from the bottle, which exactly matches the judge's selection. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind some of the world's most famous magic tricks. Which trick did you like the most? The terrifying knife trick? The teapot illusion? Or the amazing prediction act? And name any other magic trick you would like us to reveal. Tell us in the comments below. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.